Hey there, everybody. I'm so glad that you are with me today. We are going to talk about who is always with us. God is always with me and God is always with you. We have our Bible verse that we are memorizing in the book in the month of September and it goes like this. If you remember it, say it loud and proud, okay? Ready? Here we go. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, 8. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, 8. Now our true story today comes in our Bible from the book of Esther. And let's find out what happened in the book of Esther. First of all, we'll start with King Xerxes. King Xerxes was looking for a queen. He was going to look everywhere for the most beautiful queen. The king had his peeps, people search and search to find a woman to be his queen. And guess what? They found her. Her name was Esther. Esther. Esther was her name. So the king was very happy that now he had a wife and that he married her. There was also another man. And his name was Haman. Can you say Haman? Haman. He was one of the king's helpers. But Haman wasn't all that great of a guy. See, he worked for the king, but he did not love God. And you know what? He wanted to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that he should get rid of a whole group of people, which was Esther's family and they loved God and he didn't like that and he was going to get rid of her whole family. Well, how do you think that made Esther feel? Oh my goodness, she doesn't look happy. She looks a little bit upset and, and scared. The king didn't know that this plot was going to hurt Esther's family and friends. And she knew that she had to be strong. She had to be strong and stop Haman from hurting. So she was going to ask the king to come to a banquet where she could tell him what Haman's plan was. But it wasn't something that you just asked the king to, even though she was his wife. She was a little nervous to ask him, so she had to be strong. Not strong like you have to go move the couch all by yourself, not muscle strong, but strong in her heart and her countenance that she could do something hard. Well, God was with her. She knows that God is with her always. So she invited the king to a very special banquet. And there was yummy, yummy food there. And Esther asked the king if he would save her people. And the king said, yes, I will save your people and not let Haman go through with his mean plan. Esther knew that God was always with her. And God is always with you to make you strong to do the right thing and to make you strong to do hard things. He is always with you. Who is always with you? God is always with you. God is always with me. I want you to know that in the deepest part of your being so that you can Always know that God is always with you. Let's thank God for his goodness to be with us. 
God, you are amazing. You are so, so strong. And you are the one who makes us strong. Help us remember that we can be strong with your power. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercies to us. Amen. I love you guys. You have a great day. And remember, God is always with you.